Hi everyone, welcome back with me again. Today we're going to explain more about parameter because of the still COVID-19 isolated students have to stay home so I make the video to explain more about parameter. Let's get started. Hello everyone, today we're going to learn about parameter. What is a parameter actually? Parameter is about the total length outside the shape. For example, if we want to know what is the parameter of this circle, we just use the string to cover it all around like this then we mark it there then we put the string on the ruler which is about 9 about 9 cm for the circle parameter now we try to make a shape from this toothpick let's assume that the length of the toothpick, each of the toothpick is 6 cm. Then we're going to find what is the parameter. Okay, now I want you to have a look carefully. If I break this into a line, okay, then how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. That means we're going to add 6 plus 6 plus another 6 plus another 6. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 multiplied by 6, which is 24. Don't forget the unit. So if I put this toothpick back to the shape before, okay, we can tell now the parameter of the shape is 24 centimeter. How did you get that? Don't forget, we break it into a line because we only want to count the outside, the total length outside of the shape. Now I have hexagon. So how many toothpick are they all together? We're going to count the perimeter, which is here is six, another six, another six over here, Another six over there, another six, and then another six. How many toothpicks are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. If I put this back like the shape before, so there will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times six is thirty-six centimeter for the perimeter. Now we're going to try to make another polygon from this toothpick. I already cut this into half. That means this is 3 centimeter and I cut this into 5 centimeter. Then I cut this again uh, into 3 centimeter and this one 3 centimeter. Okay, now we're going to try to count what is the parameter of this polygon? Let's do it now. So this is another shape that we make from the toothpick, which is this one is 6 cm, 6 cm, 3 cm, 5 cm, 3 cm, 3 cm, 6 cm, and 6 cm. So I try to make here, which is we know this one is 6 cm, 6 cm, this one is 3 cm, 5 cm, and this one is another 3 cm, another 3 cm, and this one 6 cm, and 6 cm. Now we try to count what is the parameter of the shape. Let's count it together. So we will have this one, 6 plus, 6 plus, 3 plus, 5 plus, 3 plus 3 plus 6 plus 6 now let's count it we're going to add all of them which is equal to 38 don't forget the unit centimeter so the total parameter of the shape is 38 centimeter now we're going to try to compare between two shapes which is have the same area but they will have the different shape. Let's check it out. So figure P, let's count how many 
、uh, area there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for figure P there, we have seven centimeters square for the area. What about figure Q? Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also have seven centimeters square for figure Q. But if you see between P and Q, they have different shape. Don't worry about that as long as they have the same、uh, area. Now let's find out the perimeter of figure P. Again, remember, perimeter is about the outline length around it. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So figure P has the perimeter of fourteen centimeter. What about figure Q? Let's count it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So both of the figure, even though they have different shape, but they will have the same area and also the same perimeter. Now let's compare for the next shape. The figure R and figure S they also have different shape. Now let's count what is the area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they will have seven centimeters square for area R. Now we count the perimeter. Again, perimeter is about the outside length around it. So this one is one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So figure R's perimeter is about twelve centimeter. What about figure S? Let's count the area first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they will have seven centimeter square for area figure S. What about the perimeter? Let's count only the outline. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Okay. So if we compare figure R and figure S, they will have different area between them, and they also have different perimeter between them. It's okay. What you can learn about figure R and figure S? First of all, we're going to see the area. The area of figure R is eight centimeter, and the figure of a、uh, figure. The area of figure S is seven centimeter. That means figure R have more area than figure S. However, look at the perimeter. The perimeter of figure R is twelve centimeter, and the perimeter for figure S is about sixteen centimeter. Okay, now you can tell, right? Yes, you are correct. Figure R have less perimeter than figure S. Now let's discuss about the shape here. To count the perimeter of this shape, we just count only the outline around them. So we start from fifteen. Don't forget the unit plus nine, plus seven here, and another ten, and another nine. So how many all of them? Yes, you are correct. There are fifty meters. Don't forget about the unit. Well, this is the end of the explanation about more parameter. Hope you enjoyed the video, and、uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Don't forget to give your thumbs up, and share, and leave any comment below. See ya.